Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy. And we're back with Virtue's Last Reward. We have new chairs. We have new chairs. Well, well they're old chairs. They're but not new. We they're thought new they would work better for this. My arms keep falling asleep when I lean on the armrest. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. That's the hard life we live. <laughs> Do you want to go through the blue door with Tenmyoji? No. Do you want to go through the red door with Dio? Or do you want to go through the green door with Quark? It's completely Kimmy's decision. I don't even know what she's going to pick because we didn't talk about it before hitting record. Yeah, it was so. literally loading up. I was like, oh, we didn't talk about it. And I was like, it's okay, it's up to you. And I was like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> totally uh, up to you. So if we go with Dio, we'll be able to talk with someone. If we go with Quark, then God only knows what's going to happen. If we right. go with Timmy OG, then he's going to be like, I betrayed you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Which I'm hoping he would tell us who he thinks that lady is, but we really need to get to know other people. So I guess Dio. Ugh, I really don't want to go with Dio. All right, we'll go with Dio. Are you sure? Well, no, but... Like, But is that what you would, you would pick if you were playing alone? I think if I was playing... Well, I'd probably go with Quirk. Because I'm just interested to see what would happen. Okay. You want to pick Quark? It's it's literally you can do whatever you want. I know, I know. I just let's go with Quark because that is what I would do. Okay. I want to take Quark and go through the green door. So option C, I guess. No, I don't think so. Were you even listening? I'm not gonna pair up with Tenmyoji. That means option C is out of the question. Oh, I forgot that C was yeah. vetoed. Option Oops. C is a no-go. You'll have to kill me before I'll go anywhere with Dio. <laughs> uh. That was that then. Might have been able to argue down one person, but two. Besides, there's no way I'd be able to overpower K, grab Quark, and force Clover through the green door. Fine. If you guys are that determined, I'll pick another door. Fine, Dio. I have two choices, the blue door or the red door. I, so you pick Dio? Yes, let's just go with Dio. This is scary. You're making the exact choices I did on my first playthrough. Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Because I, I chose to go with Tenmyoji the first door and Dio the second. Did you try to go with Quark and they yelled at you? No, I just went straight with Dio because I was oh, like... Okay. That makes me feel a little bit better. I, I felt intrigued by him and Clover. I wanted to learn more about them, so... Dio and Clover? Yeah, because that's where that's where we're going to be in there. Oh, we're paired up with Clover. right, 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 right. I, I keep thinking we're still with Fi. Excuse me. We're not with Fi. That was the whole thing. She said she didn't want to go with Tenmyoji. I know, I had forgotten because we recorded that like five hours ago. Oh. Sorry, I don't pack I'll away this information in my brain. I'll take Dio. That means the red door for us. Whoa. Betting on the dark horse, huh? Feels kind of weird to say that about myself. Anyway. Shut up. Might as well be polite. Thank you. God, I hate him so much right now. Are you now. okay with that, Clover? Well. I don't really trust him, but if Alice really wants to go with option B... Yes, this works fine. K, Tenmyoji, and I will take the green door. It's not great, but it's better than Dio. I'm good. <laughs> well, I'm willing to do option B. Quark should be fine if he's with Luna. Okay, I'll take good care of him, I promise. What about fine K? No problems here. I'll take Quark and Luna, and we'll do the blue door. I also approve of option B. I will take the green door, correct? Yeah, good. <laughs> Looks like we're all set. K nodded and handed Quark gently to Luna. Ten seconds remain. And they always... Doors. They always Doors. cut it right down to the wire. I know. They need to talk faster. Come on, guys. Hurry. The door is already closing. Coming. I know. I know. With seconds to spare, we leapt across the threshold. Two. One. Zero. Chromatic zero. doors closing. Chromatic doors closing. 
Well, no turning back now. It's 1230 at night right now, and I'm having a Red Bull. This bodes well. I had Who a- Who says you have to grow up? <laughs> <laughs> We're hip with the cool kids. What is this? There are three different doors. Which one do we take? Dunno, but it looks like they're all locked anyway. So this is a dead end? Great. Cool. Let's just give up. No, hold on. What's this thing? Well, it's got a lever on it. Don't get too attached. It's probably a lever. Are you serious? Yeah, pretty good, huh? Am no. I great or what? No, honey. Huh? Huh? Uh, look at Dio's face! <laughs> Looks like a blow-up doll. Hey, Sigma, is this He is weirdly pretty. Simple or something? I wouldn't rule it out. Let's just take it easy with her, okay? Hey! What kind of a gentleman has a secret conversation in front of a lady? I guess it can't be helped, though. You boys just secrete secrets. I don't like the word secrete. <laughs> she just made another pun. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Clover! Oh, man, I'm good. Is she drunk? Sigma, like, oh, please, let me give her a smack. You're <laughs> You always default to that when someone's acting a little strangely. I'm not my mother. You're them of They're being on drunk. something. They're on drugs. It's a joke. God. We used to make fun of my mom for saying the same thing. She'd always be like, that person's on something. And we'd be like, Mom, to you, everyone's on something. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. Oh, wait. I Are you do drunk, that. John? Huh? Are you drunk? No. You sure about that? You're acting awfully funny. <laughs> You're a cyclops. <laughs> you have to get one eye. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do that. What if it only makes her worse? Well, I think that's enough genius comedy for now. Oh my god. How about we throw that lever? <laughs> you mean lever? <laughs> I thought you should. <laughs> I thought you said we should stay away from it. Well. You don't really think anything bad's gonna happen if you pull it, do you? Besides, it's not like we can go back. Fine. I'll do it. Ready? I Here regret this decision so much. Go! I thought they had to put their hands on it first. No. Oh. This one's different. Oh. They had the... Huh? This isn't this isn't scanning the bracelets. Uh, it's just a lever. It just looked like a thing that like the dead isn't that what they called yeah, it? Yeah, this the the dead is not a thing. Oh, okay. In this one, I do miss them running frantically after they go through a door. <laughs> That's them running. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I throwing off the pacing of the video? Can I please read this. We've got to get through an escape room in this video. You have a line. Yeah. Can I read it? May I please read it? I'll read, read it, it for you. Huh. <laughs> the center one opened. <laughs> Looks like the others are still locked, though. Great Sigma impression. <laughs> huh. Hmm. Through the center one, then. Forward. Without waiting for a response, Glover marched through the door. Dio and I shared a glance. Shook our heads and followed. I got. I got. I got to figure out what I'm gonna do for Dio's voice. I don't think I can do it. I've never tried. Whenever I do voices in these videos, it's me doing it for the first time. By the way. Yeah. Same. On video. Same. So I. Making it up as we go. Ah. Uh, wow. Well. Yeah, he's just kind of snooty. He's just kind of got a drag on his voice. A dark horse like myself. What is this place? Well, it said laboratory on the door, didn't it? I figure that means they're dissecting frogs or building mine rays or something. He just sounds <laughs> bored all the time. Yeah. 
Laboratory, huh? Do you think they might research stuff like viruses here? If they do... What's wrong with your eye? <laughs> She's winking. I don't know. I don't get it. Good idea. We might be able to find some of that ex Excelivir. If we do, we can cure Quark. <laughs> you really think it'll be that easy? <laughs> well, somebody's a positive thinker. Shut it. Just saying. This place hasn't exactly been set up for us to succeed so far. Well, we won't know until we look. So let's get started. Oh, by the way, you're, oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to do, so I just went like, like I was controlling the screen. Oh. Because it, it, it like goes in and then it comes out. I think it's funnier if we stick with the, <laughs> uh, we're betraying him, by the way, at the end of everything. Because he's 100% betraying us. You think so? Yeah. Hmm, I guess we'll have to find out. Yeah. All right, so what do you want to do? Let's click on all the stuff. Click on all the stuff. Well, what stuff? The stuff in front of you. What stuff in front of me? On the right. We'll like work this? our way. Yeah, we'll work our way to the left. So you want to go all the way to the right? Let's here? start with the table. Let's we'll start with the table that we're just looking at. Okay. And let's click on the thing that is the most right. So that black So this screen. tablet. Yes. It's black. There's nothing going on here. Cool. Let's look at the thing behind it. <coughs> Excuse me. I gave you a permanent gazuntite, so I don't have to say it anymore. That's right. A cylinder full of seeds. They're round. One half is colored and the other isn't. Interesting. Cool. Is this a microscope? Uh, I tried looking into the eyepiece, but it's pitch black in there. <laughs> a little too... <laughs> uh, I tried bored. looking at the eyepiece, but it's uh. pitch black in there. Yeah, he's just bored. Yeah. It's hard. Hard to do. His well, voice. there are these four holes on top of it. Maybe we need to stick something in them. In them? Okay. That's the safe. We already know what that is. Yeah, so let's just move on. <laughs> What's this thing? Who knows? Hmm. Okay. Oh, these are folders, by the way. A binder. The first time I played through this room, I got so stuck because I was like, I don't know how any of this shit works. And I was just like, because I had just all these items, and I was like, and I, it was because I wasn't clicking on these binders. Oh. Because I thought that they were just like metal plates. Yeah, they do look like metal plates. That's yeah. what I thought they were too. <laughs> and when I finally was just like, let's click on these. And then Clover was like, it's a binder. I was like. That's Because I binder. felt like such an idiot Aww. until that point. <laughs> That's, that sucks. Looks like there's two pieces of paper in here. Yeah. Let's see here. The Dio voice is just going to be a bust, okay? Don't worry about it. Hydroponics research one and two. You found hydroponics research one and two. A binder. Binder. Some paper inside. <laughs> <laughs> really? Wow. Let's me see that. Let's me see that. Hmm. It says steps for dissecting a frog. What? Steps for dissecting a frog. L. Preparation of hydroponic fluid and seeds. Preparation one, prepare the five different hydroponic fluids. Dilute with ratio one part fluid, 10 parts water. Each fluid has a distinct color. I don't like this. Preparation two, prepare the five types of plant seeds. Two long seeds, three round seeds. I don't like it. Research has shown that there is a distinct and repeatable relationship between the fluid used and the type of seed. These relationships can be characterized in the following manner. So, would you like to read these? Sure. The long seeds fail to germinate in three of the fluids. Round seeds in fluid B, yellow, and fluid D, cyan, fail to germinate. None of the marked seeds germinated if put in fluid C, green. Non-marked seeds fail to germinate in fluid A, red, or fluid B, yellow. 
When the striped seeds were put into fluid D, cyan, and fluid E, blue, only one of them failed to germinate. So if it wasn't obvious, this is a clue for a puzzle? Yeah, I hate Involving it. the seeds. Uh, yeah. Steps for dissecting a frog. Could, can I read it? Yeah. Okay. I was just... Remove the specimen from its preser... Stop it. Removing, remove the specimen from its preserving ethanol. Dispose of the ethanol by pouring it down the drain in the fume cupboard. The ethanol will be filtered and gathered in the liquid waste tank beneath the cupboard. Begin dissection using provided scalpel. Be sure to conduct your dissection inside the fume cupboard. You read that as slowly as you possibly could. That My is God. not true. Something on this tray. Empty capsule. Wow. Another empty capsule. Wow. And seeds. The long seeds. They're thin and don't have any markings. Huh, these are a little different than these other seeds than that the we got. The round seeds. They have markings and they're round. Ah. I see. Do we look at that machine? So I got really hung up on this too. You can't click on this machine. Every time you try to click on it, it goes here. So imagine me running around this room with all the items, but without the binders, trying to figure out what the hell to do. And like, I can't click on this stupid machine. Well, did you click on this one? A strange machine. We don't know what it does, so it's probably best to leave it alone for now. Oh my God. Yeah, you can't click on it. I don't know why. Anyway. Shall we now? Now where do you want to go? Let's go to the left again and turn to that window. Wow! Okay, so, so that's where we leave, okay. That's a scalpel. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right. And a lion, okay. It's a scalper. What? Sorry. It's a scalpel. <laughs> I feel like she would have a laugh like that. Pretty fancy tray. Is that a cat playing with a ball of yarn? Are you even looking, cat it? It's a lion. How are you not kitten that? Uh, what? Sorry, it's a sort of tick I picked up when I was a kid. What's happening? Whenever I talk about cats, I kinda, well, you heard. That's pretty weird. Yeah. I don't know. Says a girl who called a scalpel a scalper and who tried to make a pun about a lover. She has Wait, no room to talk. Why are you pun talk. shaming her? You are a pun shamer. I'm okay with that. It was a bad pun. Puns you are make not... bad puns all the time, and then you cackle at them. I know, <laughs> because I think I'm funny. I don't think she's but funny. But they're the same puns. They're the same level of bad. I would you either disagree. think all puns are funny, or you think they're all not funny. False. There are funny puns, and there then are not funny puns. Then you're just a hypocrite. Puns. No, a hypocrite. false. Okay, fine. All then of you out there are hypocrites. All jokes are funny. Or all jokes are not funny. That's, no, because a pun is a specific type of joke. Mm. A pun is a specific type of joke. That's like saying you either enjoy all TV or you don't okay, enjoy fine. all TV. You enjoy all metal songs or you don't enjoy all metal songs. That's not specific enough. That's a specific type of music. Mm. 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 Oh, are you saying there's variations within it? I believe there are variations <laughs> of puns. I'm just saying. Good ones and bad I'm ones. I'm just saying. You're being hard on Clover for I no think reason. you're just being aggressive. I just think aggressive. there's a different reason why you groaned at the pun I than the quality of the pun. Why else would I groan at the pun? Because you don't like Clover, and Clover's the one that made it. That's not true. Yeah. That's not true I at think all. it is. I don't like her costume. Ulterior motive. I don't like her costume, and she does seem a little ditzier in this one. But I like Clover overall. Especially mm. when she was hacking people apart in the last game. Interesting. What's so interesting? Well, it's just interesting how you're denying your hypocrisy and All right. ulterior you know what? motives. It's my turn to play the game. Thank you. Uh, these are like the Twitter fights that I can't have because nobody has a sense of humor. You have a line. This must be some kind of waste tank. Mm, that's not Dio's voice. 
It looks like a, a side tank. Oh, no. Are you for real? That doesn't sound like a deal. Fuck. Oh, uh, more round seeds. Are you for real? Cylinder full of seeds. The round don't have any markings. Can I have the mouse back? Nope. Huh. What's this? There's a breeze. I can feel it. Right here? Is that a poem? No! I'm saying there's wind blowing through here. Ah, let me explain. Are you farting? Uh, this is a fume hood, otherwise known as a fume cupboard. It's used when handling especially volatile chemicals. There's a fan or pump in the ceiling that creates constant suction, drawing any poisonous fumes up and away. So that's why it feels like there's a breeze. Precisely. So if you fart or something, it's not a big deal? You bring new meaning to the concept of idiocy. See, she made a fart joke too, and I thought it was funny. I didn't see you smile huh? or laugh. I did smile, and when you edit the video, you'll see it. Maybe you can highlight it or something. I might see you fake smile and fake laugh to try to prove a point. I didn't laugh, I just wrong. smiled because I was like, she made a fart joke. All right, you know what? I don't think I like <laughs> these chairs because we're too close now. I okay, think we should we go got, back to the far left. We gotta move on. Come on, Kimmy. Let's go. <laughs> Why'd they put a speaker here? That's a drain. We have to go. So you skip through my lines? All right, I'm taking the mouse back. No, I'm no, the no line. I never skip through your lines on purpose. False, you've totally done that before. On purpose? No. No, 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 on accident, sure. Lots of stuff on these shelves. Lots of good stuff. Maybe we should just take the things we think we might use. Yeah. Like those seeds? God, how uh, many round seeds are we gonna get? Cylinder full of seeds, they're round and striped. Badass. Oh. Roots. What the hell is this? A dead spider? Maybe it's a fake beard. Have you ever seen a person with a beard like this? Yeah, my grandpa had one. It looks like a root. It's probably some kind of preserved specimen. Yeah. Cool. Sure. Interesting. Oh. There's the... <laughs> very, very good. This is saline solution. Oh, what the hell, Clover? What if that had been poison or something? <laughs> you worry too much. I just pretended to drink it. Then how'd you know it's saline solution? It says on the underside of the lid, silly. Duh! Does it? Hmm. Look, it's Lord Huppington. Don't give it a name. Aw, it looks like he's dead. Yeah, he's probably been preserved. I think the liquid inside is ethanol. How do you know? The smell. Really? Yeah, it smells like disinfectant, right? And besides, scientists preserve stuff in ethanol all the time. Cool. Interesting. So we got ethanol in the can. In a froggy. All right. Let's cut him open. Cut him open? We have to dissect the frog. Where? According to the binder that we read earlier. All right, no, let's go look at the cylinder. The seeds that are over there. What, this thing? Yeah. Oh. Cylinder full of seeds. They're thin enough stripes. <gasps> There's a binder. What's this thing? Oh yeah, you're right. I also didn't see that for a while. That thing on the top looks like some sort of industrial strength lid. If you open it up, it looks like a blender or something. I don't think you'd use it for cooking though. Maybe it's for scientific experimentation. We are in a lab. 
Hmm. Yeah, you could probably pulverize just about anything with this something like this heavy duty. With something this heavy duty. <laughs> A binder. <laughs> There's some paper inside it. It says DNA extraction instructions. You found DNA extraction blah, instructions. DNA extraction instructions. Proceed through the following steps to extract DNA from a plant's roots and seeds. One, place plant material in designated blender and activate blender. Two, once the material has been thoroughly broken down, add in a solution of saline water. Three, the liquid will be filtered and dripped down into a beaker. Once it has done so, pour the ethanol into the beaker. Four, DNA will collect it at the bottom of the beaker. Use an empty capsule to collect it. Was that fast enough for you? I'm just saying anything better than a slow molasses-like crawl is good. I wasn't doing that. I was having fun reading it. I'm sorry. No fun allowed. I'll never have fun again. No fun allowed <laughs> on this channel. <laughs> Only serious gaming. That's right. I already read it. All right. It's done. Yeah, but I mean, like, but did you process it? Oh yeah, no. <laughs> okay, so, so we're putting it stuff says place in plant material in designated blender, and then add in saline, and then uh, add, pour in ethanol. And then collect the DNA in an empty capsule. Uh huh. So we need, we got saline. We need to place plant material in there first. So. But we need to know which seeds to put in. It's all of them. But doesn't, wasn't it like these kind oh, don't? So it doesn't. You know, it, okay. So that's for something else. Uh. I'm just trying to save us time here. It, it doesn't say all of the seeds, but it wants you to put all the seeds in. This would take me ages. Yeah. But I think if you just do one, then it'll do all of them. Are you going to use those seeds in the mixer? Yeah. You think I shouldn't? No, I just mean, don't you think you should put all of them in? You mean all five different types of seeds? Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Why not? This is also something I didn't figure out on my own. I didn't put any of the seeds in because I was waiting for instructions on like which seeds to put in. I would have done the same thing. Yeah. All right, done. And then when I just tried to put one in, it was just like, oh, let's just throw a little bit. Uh -huh. Let's do it. All right, so we've got all the seeds in there. So now we put in saline, mm -hmm. which we have here. All right. I'll just pour the saline solution in here. So funnel above the beaker. Filtered liquid comes out of it. Eventually. Looks like pee. I was gonna say the machine just pee. If you haven't drunk water. A long time. Okay, looking good. It looks gross. So now we need ethanol. Uh oh, in the root, right? Isn't the root supposed to go in? No. You sure about that? But Let's try, let's try it. What are we supposed to do next? What does the manual say? Well, step number three says something like this. The liquid will filter into the beaker. Add ethanol to the liquid. I guess you should pour in the ethanol then. Right. So, they point out that the frog had ethanol. Mm-hmm. But you can't put it. So we need to separate the frog from the ethanol. Oh, uh, mm. can we look around some more? What's that weird area? Yeah. Oh, those are the numbers and the color. Man, look at all these pipes. <laughs> uh, I think they run down to the beakers underneath. There are handles where the pipes meet. If you turn the handle right, the liquid goes right. And if you turn the turn it left, the liquid goes left. So maybe if you put it in the middle, half goes to the left and half goes to the right? What is this liquid then? Um Probably water? What do the numbers mean? Are they supposed to indicate the amount of water that flows out of each pipe? There aren't any units, but it looks like 80-somethings of water come out of the center pipe. 
And then each pipe after the split gets 40. So we're supposed to regulate the flow of water with the handles so that each beaker gets the correct amount. Yeah. How do we get the water to come out in the first place, though? I think you probably just pull that lever over there on the right. Like this. I... After turning the correct levers, pull down on the lever on the right to pour water into the beakers. Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. So. Three, five, two, three, three. This is uh, the first major puzzle of the room. Three, three, two, five, three. But then at the top, we got 40, 80, and 40. I don't like it. And they all lead down into these five. Maybe we had a no. Let's see. <clears throat> One part fluid, 10 parts water. One part fluid, 10 parts water. Ah. So we're just supposed to put the same thing in each one. So, th so if this is water up here, is it saying how much solution is in the beakers below? I think so, because... So we already have too much solution of every single one. We already have what? Too much solution. Why do you say that? Because it's supposed to be one part fluid, 10 parts water. No, there's no water in there right now. I know. They should all say one. So we can fill up with 10 parts water. Right? So... For, for every one part of the fluid, uh -huh. of whatever it is in there, oh, we there needs add... to be 10 parts water. Gotcha. So, so we've got 160 units of water to distribute into... right, to 16 units of liquid. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay. So okay. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to, you want to take the reins? Or do you want do you want to work together? Let's work together. Okay. But this is one that I would not understand easily. Okay. So, let's start with this one. Okay. So this says forty, right? Mm-hmm. And we're trying to distribute that to three and three. We're trying to get thirty of that to go here, and we're supposed to try to get this one to thirty. But we'll probably only be able to do ten, and then eighty. We'll have to pick up the slack. Along with two and yeah. five. Right, yeah. And then 40 will pick up the slack on five and three. This is only, like this, okay, so let's take the bookends, right? Uh-huh. So this this three over here, it can only get 30 from this 40. Right, same with that same one. Same with this one. All like right. This 80 only influences the middle three. All right, so let's take care of the ends then. Okay, so let's start with the left one. So it looks like the levers are all in the right place for that one. Are they? Right? I thought it had to be turned towards the number. Like, no. So, oh. So it, it it shows you where the water goes. So if it's if it's pointing to the left, that means all forty units are going to the left. So that's what I was saying. But then we have all forty units going here, and that's too much. Oh, so we need to flip it to the right. If we have it go to the right, though. Um, then it has all 40 go here, all 40 go here. So it needs to go in the middle? So if it goes to the middle, that means 20 go this way and 20 go this way. So it really depends on this one right here. So split that one in the middle too. Yeah, so then we have 20 go straight in and then we have 20 go here. And then it 10 gets split and 10. To 10, 10. So we've got 30 here. And then 10 there. And we've got 10 here. So okay. it looks like that's correct. Cool. Then let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay. So this side, we'll need to do middle and middle again. Right. So 30 on that so side. So 30 goes in right here and then 10 goes in here. here. So we got 10 and 10. And then I think 80 on top will need to be in the middle. So then we got 40 going to the right. So that's that's, that's good on the five. And then this. The other 40 go this way. So then that one will, so they all just need to be in the middle. Looks like it. You wanna try flipping the switch? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. 
They were all in the middle. <laughs> I was gonna say that as a joke earlier. I was like, well, I'll just put them all in the middle then. And then I decided not to. I should have just said that. We poured the water to the beakers and all the lights are green. But it's good that we reasoned through it. Yeah. We know why it's all in the middle. Right. You know? We showed our work. That's right. Yeah. We poured the water into the beakers and all the lights are green. You did it! Cool. Ah! Sigma, you're my hero! Did that open up? Uh, there's a rectangular hole in the wall. Do we have anything for this? No. No. Yeah, what do we, so what now? So seeds? Hey, you remember that hydroponics thing you found? Didn't it say something about preparing five types of seeds? You've got them all, right? Yeah, I have two types of long seeds and three types of round seeds. Then maybe you should put them in the beakers. If you just grab one of those seed containers, you should be able to put them into one of the beakers. Oh, okay. So I guess you just pick any one you want. Yeah. Oh, the beakers contain a liquid culture. Each seed requires a particular kind of culture. Place each seed in the appropriate beaker. By dragging a seed on top of another seed, you can switch them. Press the check button after you have put the seeds in the correct places. When each seed is in the correct culture, you will have completed this puzzle. I'm not sure what's going on, but here goes. Okay, so we decide which seed goes in which beaker. And we actually have a guide for this. I this know. Is the so, two long seeds, three round <laughs> seeds, and that's what this is. All right, the long seeds fail to germinate in yellow, cyan, no, and three of the fluids. Yeah, it oh, just no. says three of the fluids, so we should Boo. probably hold off on that. Okay, round seeds in fluid yellow and cyan fail to germinate. So, no, no, no round. No round in yellow and cyan, so. So, that needs to change. Yeah, so, let's just switch that, so. Okay, so longs so and. So, longs are in yellow and cyan. Cool. Okay. Let's take a look at it again. All right, none of the marked seeds germinate if put in C. So green. C is a blank one. Green, green is a blank one. So, so swap those two. It would have to be this one. You yeah. Think. Okay, well, let's just leave it at that. Until we find a contradiction. Right. Non-marked seeds fail to germinate in red and yellow. So I think. Red and yellow. So we're good, those are marked. So we're good, yeah. yeah. Okay. When the striped seeds were put into cyan and blue, only one of them failed to germinate. Okay, hold on. So that's gotta be the round striped one in cyan failed to germinate, because round seeds failed to germinate in cyan. So round striped cannot go in cyan. Okay, so. So that means that round striped can go in blue, and striped uh, long can go in cyan, just can. So. I don't think it matters. Well, maybe it does. So the striped round one can go in blue, but okay. round stripe cannot go in cyan. So maybe long. Well, round stripe can't go in cyan anyway, because round. Can't go in, yeah. Right. So the, what it was saying is that of the striped seeds, only one of them would not germinate in cyan. Mm -hmm. And we only have two striped seeds, and one of them is round. So it has to be that one that doesn't germinate in the cyan. Okay. Does that make sense? Not really full. Oh, that's okay. But, no, if you okay. go back, I can show you. Uh, so the very last one, where the striped seeds, or when the striped seeds were put into cyan yeah. and blue, only one of them failed to germinate. Right. So if you take that and compare it with the second point, yeah. it says round seeds. Because the two striped seeds that are like stripey, stripey, right. one's round, one's no, long. No, I know. I just, that doesn't seem to help. That doesn't help me. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. This is differences in thinking patterns at play. No, I'm just stupid. Stop it, I'm no. just an idiot. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I I just, it doesn't help me and my brain figure it out, but if it helps you, Yeah, then cool. it makes sense to me, but I so understand. So it says the long seeds fail to germinate in three of the fluids. So that makes sense. So could it be this? There's nothing to contradict it, right? Let's check it. 
Wow, we, we got, got it. that really fast. We did. That was good. You really just need the mill three bullets. Yeah. You don't need the other two. You did it, Sigma. You've sown your seeds. Ew. Don't say that. Huh? Why not? Just don't. Quiet, you two. Quiet. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet, you two. Look at this. <laughs> Oh, a Pokeball. A red <laughs> capsule. <laughs> oh, that's you. I'm First sharing. you skip one of my lines. Click. Then you talk over it. Stop. A round capsule. A red? It said a round capsule. Yeah, it said a red. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. When you go back to edit, you'll see it. What? Is it the... Uh... What, what did it say? You can just say that I'm right. It's okay. It won't hurt. Brain misfire. It won't hurt to say that I'm right. It won't, like, <laughs> feel painful. You just say it. I know, but it's funny if I don't. You can even say it softly. But it's more entertaining you if be I like, don't say it. You're right. This is an entertainment give me, video. Give me your right. It's much better if I'm G stubborn. Give me. Give me. Nobody wants to watch two people agree on everything. Give me those rights. No. Hey, guess what? I was right. <laughs> Can I take this Pokeball? It's Red Castle singing in the hall. Oh, it's a, it said round. <laughs> I'll stop. Somebody thinks they're hilarious. I'm hilarious. Okay, so we got a red Pokeball. Let's yeah. go up here. Oh. <gasps> Microscope, apparently, <laughs> has circular holes on the top that fit the capsules we found. I'm just imagining this guy <laughs> standing over it going, a microscope, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, how anime of you. <laughs> like getting weirdly like mad at it. So should we go back to, what is that? It's, it's like the green liquid that's all around, it's fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm just imagining a giant frog floating in it. What do you want to do? I want to go back to the pee. <sighs> okay. So we need to figure out how to get yeah, frog them. juice in there. Yeah. So what are these other jars we have? We have saline. Saline, which we can't put in yet. All right. What's in these round things? They're just empty capsules. Oh, that's not water. Oh. No, they're empty capsules. All right, you know what? I have I thought I had it with your eyes. Uh, Can we put the frog somewhere? Like on that pad that was by the smart machine that was like... Over here? Oh, where the scalpel was? Maybe. Uh, Let's try Trey, this is an image of a lion. Uh, whoa. Sure. Here? Maybe? Wait. <laughs> what? Wait, hold on a second, Sigma. Are you planning to take the frog out of there? Yeah, so? You should probably pour that liquid into the drain first. It might get dangerous if you don't. No. But... We have to pour it into the machine. Okay, fine, do it. Hey, look. Liquid waste tank. The drain empties into it. Yeah, but who knows what else is in there? Let's just try it. Fine. Um, okay. I'll just pour the froggy ethanol into the drain. Oh, the frog is all soggy and like sitting in the bottom of the jar. And set the frog over here. When I was younger, my mom would homeschool students for science class, and she would order frogs and all sorts of little creatures for them to dissect, and our house smelled of ethanol all the time. Or no, That's formaldehyde. Horrible. Yeah, it was terrible. It was so gross. I had to dissect fetal pigs. Oh, I never had to do that. That sounds awful. Yeah, that was kind of cool. I find bad, it interesting, but, but yeah. I also had to dissect an earthworm, and that was boring. Yeah, we did too. They were just full of poop. I was like... It was just like one big tube. Yeah. Inside that. It's just full of dirt, like literal what dirt was the poop. Point. Oh yeah, it had poo in it too. Yeah. Yeah. The frog. One of the girls had a frog that uh, was pregnant. That was crazy. Let's uh, get back to happy times. It can be happy <laughs> this, depending. This killing game. <laughs> this tank collects liquid waste. The ethanol I poured down the drain should be in here. You poured? I think we poured. It's a little big, but I have a feeling we should take it. Oh, wait. Maybe Sigma said that last one. No, it was Dio. Oh, it was? Yeah, that's why I was oh, like, that's weird. Maybe it mislabeled. I don't know. 
in a tank that collects liquid waste. Right now, it's full of the ethanol that the frog was in. I think that's a more of a... That's like Owen Wilson. Like a cool hand Luke. Yeah. Voice. Uh, yeah. Well, well, uh, I guess so. That's like if he grew up in California or something. Wow. All right, let's go pour that in the pee. Wait, wait. Cup of the frog. Um, here we go. Um, Sigma, what are you going to do with the scalpel? Are you going to cut Lord Hoppington open? <laughs> well, I don't really have a choice, do I? But, oh, poor Lord Hoppington. What are you freaking out about? It's dead. That's not the point. It's still sad. Yeah, it is kind of sad. Oh, for the love of... Shut up, Dio! <laughs> this frog is dead. It is an ex-frog. Oh. Ugh, fine. I'll do it. Hey! Well, I guess that saves me the trouble. <laughs> huh? Something came out of his stomach. Blue capsule. Oh, is that what killed it? Oh, it's so big! It's like the size of his stomach. Oh! Small capsule. Half of it is blue. It's some sort of metal protrusion. Oh. Baby frog. Lord Hoppington. Why? You left us too soon. Shut up. I like that the font got bigger for that. Yeah. All right, let's go pour the ethanol. Oh, yeah. And we got the waste tank. All right, next I need to pour the ethanol into the beaker. Right, let's go. No time to lose. Then? Hmm, I guess this should do it. Why is there yellow junk in the bottom? It's DNA that's collecting. Oh. Do you, you think this gel here has the DNA in it that we're supposed to collect? Probably. So what do we do with it? Does the manual say anything? Oh yeah, I think there was a fourth step in there. Oh, was there? Yeah, something about a capsule. Oh, the empty capsule. Those are the seeds. Right. Oh, there's the frog. Oh. Uh, he's gonna be here. Oh, okay, so we've already done, the ethanol's like the last one, basically. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, we're gonna dip the protrusion on this capsule into the stuff in the beaker. Protrusion. Awesome! You got it all! Small capsule. Half of it is yellow. It has some sort of metal protrusion. He's obsessed with that metal protrusion. Protrusion. Look at the protrusion. It looks like that stuff that you like... Like a little neti pot thing. Oh, uh, like the little, weird thing that you little, use to suck boogers out of babies' noses? Like, like you, you tilt your head and you go... Yeah. Yeah. Or, no, no, the stuff that you like fill with water is... Like warm water so you can clean out your ear. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Looks like that thing. I think that's the same thing that you use to suck boogers out of babies' noses. You're not supposed to do that. You are 100% supposed to do that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It says who, baby expert? Science. Where did you hear that? I'll, I'll show you some articles later. Please, teach me. You're not supposed to do anything to babies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to leave them to fend for themselves. Slut. Anything you do kills them. Basically. <laughs> okay, time to throw this root in the mixer. Oh, so we're just doing the same thing with the root? Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. That's what the other <laughs> protrusion is for. Alright, done. Oh, wait. So, ethanol? Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, saline. I forgot to put the saline in there. All right, I'll just pour the saline solution in here. I did it in the wrong order. Is that gonna matter? It's a funnel above the beaker, so the liquid comes out of it. Eventually. Okay, looking good. Guess it doesn't matter. What do I need to do next? Don't you remember? Maybe you should take a look at the bot. Sorry. Huh! 
Next step. Next step is the DNA extraction instruction. Uh. Root. Oh wait, this is the ethanol. All right, next we need to pour the ethanol into the beaker. Good thing we have so much ethanol. Right. Then, see, look, the DNA collected. That's grass. Hmm. Guess it should do it. I'll skip this on my dialogue later. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're even. Actually. Are we? Because you skipped through my dialogue. All right, gonna dip the protrusion on this capsule and the stuff in the beaker. <laughs> I'm gonna dip the protrusion. Awesome! You got it all. I, like I want it all. <laughs> I want it all. I want it all. And I want it now. Oh my god. I like how all these protrusion capsules have bright colors. Small capsule. Half of it is green. It has some sort of metal protrusion. <laughs> he loves those protrusions. All right, so what should we do with these? We should put them in that thing that we put the red one in. You mean the oh. apparently microscope? Apparently. Okay. Sigma, uh, come here. Well, what's wrong? Uh, I can see something in here. What do you mean, something? Uh, just look. It's easier than explaining. Why not let us put in the last one? Well, what the heck is this? Probably a simplified version of a DNA sequence. A is adenine. G is guanine. C is cytosine. And T is thymine. I think we can manipulate it. Yeah. It looks like the puzzle has to do with pairing these bases. Bases? Yeah. DNA is made out of four bases. Adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. However, you can only bind A and T, or G and C. Okay. Anything else just won't work. These are called complementary base pairings. You sure you know a lot about this stuff? I guess so. Anyway, you should be able to solve the puzzle now. Give it a shot. Reposition each row so that each A is connected to a T and each G is connected to a C. Move each row sideways until the letters match up. Okay. The way I remember it is at GameCube. <laughs> of course. So yeah. how do we click for them to move? You gotta drag them. Kimmy's got the mouse. Kimmy's solving the puzzle. I'm solving the puzzle. <laughs> Kimmy's the puzzle solver. So, uh, no. Yeah, they. So they even just... if like they pair up like that, that's not okay. No, no, no. They they pair up opposite each other. See how? See how? Wait, move it back. See how <gasps> C and G and A and T are. Oh, together, so that's I need what to you be want all the way uh, around. I don't know why I was looking the other way. That's stupid. Yeah. I probably had it, like right here. Boom. Yeah. So that's right on the top. All right. Uh. That seems right. Yeah. Boom. And then this one. Oh. It was a lot easier than I expected for some reason. Well, you basically did it the correct way the first time. Oh. I got a little mixed up. You didn't even touch like the bottom of this of the third row. Oh yeah. Which moves like I think a random one on the top. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know you, it did that. It can get you kind of fucked up if you get too far into it. Oh dear. Ha! <laughs> did it. Good job, Sigma. That was awesome. Thanks, Clover. You want a treat? <laughs> I'm not hungry. You're turkey. What in the hell? Stop screwing off. We don't have time for that. Now get over here and look at this. Huh. There's something on it. Yeah, there this is. is. This is a safe password. Perfect. This is just what we need. Yeah. Now we can get in the safe. Found the safe password. Ah! 
so we didn't need the yellow <laughs> protrusion? Oh, I'm just clicking through, sorry. That's okay. Do we not need the yellow one, the yellow capsule? You wanna see what happens when we put it in? Yeah. Put it to the right password, it'll open up. At least it should. Right. You wanna put in the password first? Sure. Is it that? No. Nope. Fuck. It was... Oh, oh yeah. Oh. I'm pretty sure that was the sun, yeah. Good job. I was just trying to tell ya. I was trying to correct me. Because yes. you were wrong. It opened. You did it. What is this? Okay, what have we got here? First is a map. It says floor B. The one I found in the infirmary said floor A. So the one from the lounge. Then that would make floor A the top floor, right? I mean, we rode the elevator down to get here. Yeah, I guess so. All right, let's keep looking. There's a lot of stuff in here. These are... The key cards. Each one's got a picture of a moon on it. Then these had to be the cards the announcer was talking about. Uh, looks like they gave us two, just like with the sun cards. I'm a solo, so I'll hang on to one. Cool? Sure, fine. Next up, we've got a notebook. Hmm. I like how they're just dancing around that medicine. Anything interesting? I can't read any of this. Are these even letters? What the heck is this? Isn't it a journal? It's got dates and stuff. Maybe, but I can't read any of this. What language is it? Who knows? Maybe it's Brazilian? They speak Portuguese in Brazil. Oh. Anyway, what else have we got here? Looks like two more things. Is that medicine? Hmm. What's it say on the label? Uh, Axelavir. Axelavir? Axelavir? Wait, didn't Luna say something about, um, Axelavir? You're right! This is it! This is Axelavir! It's the cure for Radical Six! Whoa, hold on. Let me see that. Later. We need to get out of here as quick as possible. Yeah, we need to get this stuff to Clark. First, we gotta get out of this room. Yeah, but that's easy. You've got it, right? You are got it. Yeah, let's go. But do you wanna put the yellow one in? I do. Look, the screen changed. What's going on? You put in the yellow capsule, right? I think it reacted to that. Why? Don't know. But I was just thinking. Thinking what? Well, that thing we just put in had plant DNA in it, right? Maybe that caused this. Hmm. Anyway, let's go have a look. We should wait for Quark! Huh? It's different now. The shapes are in different places. So we found a different password. Let's do it. So this is for the hidden file. Yeah. Which is uh, this blue one on the right. Yeah. <gasps> ha! It opened. Awesome! The suspense was killing me. So we found a gold file. I recommend we not read it. Okay. Because it does spoil some things. Okay. I found all the gold files in my playthrough, but I kind of wish I hadn't. Mm. I stopped reading them after a while because I was like, "This is just ruining stuff." Yeah, because it would oh. it would it would say stuff that I'm like that doesn't happen yet. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, all right, but uh, yeah, you ready to leave? Yeah, let's do it. We're gonna fucking leave. Let's ghost this place. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Yeah. Lock for the door. Right now it says lock. You guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> just get it over with. Okay, here we go. 
Three, two, one. We did it. We did it. Yes. Yeah. Hey, hold on a minute. There's something, nah, I guess there's a couple of things I want to double check. Well, one of them's not really significant, I guess. Huh? First off, this machine. We didn't even end up using this thing, did we? Yeah. I was just wondering what it was. Well, I'm not sure I'm supposed to answer that. Hmm. Look at the side here. There's a name or something. IG Replicator? Replicator makes it sound like it makes copies of stuff. So it's like a copy machine. Yeah. Probably copies IG. Whatever that is. Instagram? Any ideas? Who knows? Ice cream by the gallon? <laughs> of course. This machine must be here so we can just make all the ice cream we want. Are you nuts? You're one idiotic girl, you know that? In other words, an IG. Oh, good one. <laughs> hey, this isn't the time for stupid jokes. There's a helpless child back there in the infirmary who needs our help. Oh, Clover's sad. It was right, of course. I hung my head in shame. At any rate, as long as we don't know what IG means, we can't do anything with this machine, right? That's right. Makes sense. On to the second issue. Sigma, you found a journal and some sort of vial in the safe, right? Yeah. The vial. Could you show it to me again? Why? I didn't really get a good look at it before. You guys were in there so close I could barely see it. Was it really Accelivere? Yeah, definitely. As I spoke, I pulled the vial out of my pocket. See? It's written right there on the label. <clears throat> Accelivere. <laughs> you really are an idiot. Huh? Although I guess in this case the G and I G stands for guy. What? I don't... The words were barely out of my mouth when he moved. Before I could blink, the vial disappeared from my hand. Hey, what gives? What are you doing? Dio slipped the vial quickly into his coat. Oh, don't worry. I'll keep it safe. I'll even give it back to you later. N no not later! Give it back now! I don't think so. If you want it back, you're gonna have to listen to my request. Request? Yeah, that's what that's I said. so interesting. If you want this back, in the next A-B game, you have to choose Ally. Ally? Wait, is that why you took the medicine? To blackmail me? That's horrible! You're using Quark's life as leverage! Well, I've got some really good reasons to do so. I'll be happy to give it back if you just do what I say. I didn't realize until they started to hurt that I'd curled my hands into fists. If Dio would only give me an opening. Uh-uh-uh. I wouldn't try and take it back by force if I were you. You make any sudden moves and I'll smash it. Pat his pocket gently. Oh, and one more thing. Don't tell those other idiots that you found some Accelivere in here. I hear one word about it, and the next thing you hear will be little bits of glass shattering on the floor. Damn it. That's not fair. This game isn't about compassion. It's not about being clever. It's about one thing. How well you can manipulate people to your advantage. How unfair you can be. So, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I like how it's stuck on Clover being like... <laughs> Ready to promise I me you'll like pick this. ally? Promise me you'll pick ally! Fine. I promise. Sigma! <laughs> oh, I knew you'd say it eventually. I'm glad you understand how this works. But don't think about trying anything funny. Break your promise and... Well, you know what happens. See you chumps later. 
I'm really looking forward to the next round. With one last self-satisfied chuckle, Dio stride out of the room. Are you really going to do what he says? <laughs> yeah. Sigma, you've only got one BP right now. If we choose ally and he chooses betray... I know. I'll drop to minus one and that means I'll get penalized. But that means... Look, it's not like I want to, alright? If we don't do as he says, then he'll destroy the medicine. If he does that, then Quark will... Quark will. So you're going to die to save his life? That's... Why would you do that? In all honesty, I was terrified. My choice was far from a foregone conclusion. Well, we should get back to the upper floor. Everybody else is probably finished already. Bet they're waiting for us. I didn't wait for Clover's response. Oof. It's hmm. a tough situation. I want to know what his reasons are. He's got some pretty good reasons to do this. Then what are they? If you let me in, maybe I can help. Yeah. Well, we're on our long journey back to the warehouse. Yes, <laughs> it's gotta seriously. Show our exact, uh, exact progress, but this is a good time to talk about the game. Oh, wait, oh. we're back. Yeah, no, not yet. <laughs> but in the future. As we get further and further away from the warehouse A. This would actually, I think... Don't we want to vote first? Do you want to vote before the end of the episode? I, or like, gate I would think so. Opened. Huh? I would think so, but... We got an hour... We're, we're like an hour ten into this one. Mm. So... Okay, then that's a good cliffhanger for next episode. Yeah. How are we gonna vote? Are we gonna ally? Oh my God. Or are we gonna betray? Oh no! Find out in the next episode of Virtue's Last Reward! With okay. John and Kimmy! So what did you think of the uh, laboratory? Let's take off our, our heads. Yeah, this is official uh, podcast mode. That's right. You get to see how gross my hair is. Uh, my hair is gross too. It's okay. <laughs> we're both like, oh, I mean, it's keep it on. It's clean, but it's not um, good. Not good. <laughs> rough hair day. Uh, that was an interesting room. And Dio ended up being a bigger jerk than I anticipated. Yeah, he's not just a smart ass. Mm -mm. He's, he's uh, conniving. Kind of a... Kind of getting like Kokichi. He's a manipulative booty hole. Nagito vibes, kind of, mm -hmm. kind of deal from him. Well, he's not as creepy as Nagito. Um, yeah. He's just a blackmailer right now. Yeah. I, well, but, it's like there wasn't a character like that in Nine Nine Nine. You know, there was just Ace, who was just like he, he just killed you. Yeah, he was like, yeah. Hey, what's going on in here? Oh, they know about me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's interesting that this guy is blackmailing. Um, I have a feeling that it'll be okay. Yeah. But, I mean, this is a story with a lot of timelines, so it also may not be okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think he hates Quark. You think he hates Quark? Yeah, I can't tell. Because mm. he's he was trying to blame Quark on saying betray before. And that's a weird thing to do unless it's true. You know? So I think he's trying to say that there's more to this kid than what we know. Uh, yeah. And I think he's trying he's to... He's pointing the finger at Quark a lot. Yeah, and I'm wondering if he's playing with Quark's life because he's like, if I can't get them to vote for Ally so that we can... Because 
What is it if we both vote for ally? What happens? Then we both get two points. But if we both, so he's like he's banking on the fact that we were going to betray him, which was true, because yeah. I, I was totally going to betray him. So that would give and us also zero. If you have one BP, betray is a defensive move. Right. You can't lose BP if you yeah. choose betray. Exactly. We had no choice, and he knew that. So he's like, so I have to get them to choose ally, otherwise we don't get anything. And to do that, he chose to blackmail. Yeah. Because he was like, no one trusts me. They all think I'm an idiot because Quirk, according to his story, chose uh, Betray the first time. So when I played through, um, and I was at this point, I also thought that he hated Quirk. But... For a different reason than what I just said? For a different reason than what you said. What was your reason? I can't tell you. Did you get other information that we're not privy to? No. So you can't tell us why because i don't i don't want to i don't want to say because like i feel like if i say it that means that it's not true oh like i can't gotcha. tell you if it was right or not okay and yeah, i don't yeah. want to like you know right right right. so i yeah i'll just so. say that i had a similar theory that's all i wanted to share gotcha okay no that's fair that's totally fair i want to share it. but not spoil you know this is how you talk about stuff well yeah just saying like if you want to talk about something you already know to people who don't know that's a good way to do it, where it's like, I had very similar thoughts. I was on a similar track. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, my other thought is that... Well, I don't know what my other thought is. It's basically just, I think he hates Quark. Yeah. Um, or he's just taking advantage of this situation mm-hmm. because he knows he can. Interesting. Which I yeah. think it's interesting because it's almost like he's trying to save us. I do think Dio's an interesting character, and I yeah, because like for him to, because like he could just betray us too. Mm-hmm. Like, why is he doing this unless he wants us both to get two points? Right. Which, sure, he could be coming at it from the point of view of like I want the maximum amount of points. They're gonna betray me no matter what because that's what the defensively have to do well okay so so if we both do ally then we both get two points and so that's that's for me there's two possibilities and the the possibilities whichever one you think is going to happen depends on your perception of dio mm-hmm. like if we're if we choose ally and he chooses ally you know then he was just doing it so we could get we could each get two points right but if we choose ally and he chooses betray he kills us and that oh, becomes right. that becomes yeah. a much darker thing. Right, I forgot about that yeah. option. The actual deadly option. Yeah, but I but guess. But what would he benefit from killing us? How would that benefit him? I don't know. Unless it just takes more people out of the game. But as we can see, that's not a beneficial it does, move. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So strategically, unless again he's planning on killing Cork. And therefore taking two people out of the game because yeah. Clover would be fine because she has more points than we do. Yeah. So just be killing us and Quark. Then they're left with five people. Well, he wouldn't be killing Quark, but yeah. But Quark would be out of the game. I mean, he would be. Like, if he, like, so, sorry, I didn't complete that thought. So if he asks us to choose ally by taking that medicine. Yes. And then he betrays us, killing us. He could destroy the medicine, killing Quark. Yeah. So then two people are out of the game. But he said he would give the Accelivir back if we picked Ally. Yeah, but if he's going to pick Betray, he's probably going to kill Quark. Like, if he's going to yeah. double-cross us, yeah. then I don't see why he would help Quark. Yeah. So, really, just kind of depends on what he picks. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll find out about that in the next episode. That's crazy. Post it tomorrow. <gasps> tomorrow! Think critically!